Okay, we're back, we're live. I'm Jay Fidel. This is Think Tech, and more specifically, this is Think Tech Talks, Think Tech Tech Talks uh, on a given Monday. And today, uh, we're going to visit with uh, Victor Gully, and he's the CEO of a company called A Taste of Theater, and he joins us by Skype from Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to the show, Victor. Hello, and thank you for having me on, Jay. Yeah, it's great. So, you know, here we are in the 21st century, and, um, you know, stage performances are different now because uh, there's a huge stage industry, a theater industry, and for that matter, I include opera, by the way, um, uh, in this country. And we have more stars, more talent, more going on than before. It's really great to see the country, uh, you know, get behind this. It's not in every city, and I wish there were more of it here in Honolulu, but we have some pretty classy theater here. And I expect there's, there's pretty classy theater in many cities around the country. The problem is we have got to use the national talent. We've got to bring it together. We've got to have an exchange for that. So if I'm in one city, I have to be able to connect up with a theater in another city. Uh, I know yes. that happens in the opera because I served with the opera. Um, but now I find that it happens in theater in general. And P.S. Victor Gully is actually doing it. He's got this program, this this web program that lets people connect up from one side of the country to another um, to get you know positions in in theater on plays and I guess in in other kinds of professional uh, uh, staffing situations. So Victor, uh, tell us yes. what you got. How how is this? How does it work? How did you come by it? And what is it doing? That's a multiple compound question. Oh yes, I'll start with how it all came about. Um, uh, the first is the, is the obvious. I was doing plays of my own, and I was running into, as a self-producing playwright, several issues. The first being finding staff or the uh, cast, doing, uh, finding a place to have my show at, finding the props that I needed to have uh, for the show, and then, of course, marketing the show. Um, and as I started uh, down this path, I said, well, man, I should create an app for this. Um, and I started interviewing um, other playwrights about this same phenomenon, and, and I came up with this app that there's currently nothing out there that would connect a playwright, whether they're self-producing or a regular theater company, to actors who want to act, and then places where they can have their show at. And so I said, well, once we create that and get everybody connected, then we need to have another component that would allow the, the public to be able to find the plays. So once the theater company finds the actors and the show that they want to have their show at, or the, the theater that they want their show to, to be at, then the public can find, using our app, any play that's within 50 miles of that phone. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so it's, it's all sides win. It's a win, 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 win kind of thing. It goes yes. from the, the, the producer um, to, and the theater, I suppose, who wants to populate his cast, uh, to the yes. people who might be on his cast, and then to, the, and then to me. Uh, I want to find out if a play is playing somewhere. At least within yes. 50 miles, I'll find out everything that's playing within 50 miles, and I can go see it. So this probably gins up more activity for theaters and plays, doesn't it? Yes, it would definitely do that. And, uh, and the way that it works is each theater company has to put in their own data. Uh, each actor has to register so that he can be found. Each venue has to put in their information so that they can also be found by people who are looking to rent their facilities. That's terrific. So uh, what's the business model on this? How do you make money with it? Do you, do you charge them for the registration? It's a subscription-based. Uh, uh, each each person that registers pays uh, a nominal fee because it is theater. We're not looking to gouge uh, at all. So it's a nominal fee that people pay. And once they pay their subscription, then they can put their name in the in the database. Mm -hmm. Now, right now the we're offering it completely free until our next release comes out. So people can go to the website, use every feature that is available to them, the only thing they have to do is just sign up using the free account. 
Ah, that's pretty good. Yes. So, so uh, am, am I right to assume that um, actors are always looking for gigs and they're always yes. looking for gigs in plays in which they have appeared before since they know the lines and the moves for those plays? Mm -hmm. That's correct. But also, um, where I think it is even more essential is uh, oftentimes when you're doing a production, someone will drop out. Ah. And then you're scrambling, looking for someone to fill that position. Now there's a database that you can go to and say, I'm looking for a, in this case, let's say I'm looking for a white male um, that's in Honolulu. I can put in those categories or those parameters and find someone that is available and reach out to them and say, hey, I've got a show. Or would you like to be a part of it? It serves that purpose. And also, it's this whole site will serve a second purpose, which I think is, is essential. And that is, it serves as an IMDB for theater. So if that means once you're in a show, anyone else can type in your name and they can see your work history, just like you can with Internet Movie Database or IMDB.com. Mm. Like my favorite movie happens to be Purple Rain, so I type that in, you can see everybody that's in that movie. And the same thing will happen with, with uh, our site. Once you put in a person's, an actor's name, um, you'll see all the shows they were in, or if you put in the playwright's show, you'll see all the plays they've written. Yeah, this is so interesting. I mean, I think in the past we all we all uh, imagined this uh, to be a lot of uh, a lot of interviews and um, uh, where where the producer would sit in the theater and and the potential actor would walk across the stage and do something. Now uh, he can find people not by word of mouth, but right there, hard copy with his profile. So my question is, does the profile have the addition? Uh, addition video. Uh, if it doesn't, it should. I mean, for example, I want to see this guy acting. I want to see him in another play. I want to see him talk to me. I want to see his moves. I want to mm -hmm. see his style. Uh, is that is that on your website? Is that available? That's coming in the next release um, that you will be able to add your audition reel. And um, we've, we've also found that that right there is essential um, for each actor so that people can see them. So that way there is something that will be added in the next release. And that's why it's free until we put out this next release. Mm -hmm. What about reviews? I'm always interested in uh, reading reviews and seeing what the reviewer has to say. I may not agree with him, I may not accept his advice, but I'd mm -hmm. like to hear what he has to say. So do you have reviews on a given actor who appeared in a given play? Well, we don't necessarily do reviews on the actors um, for the public to see, but there's reviews um, that will be available to other playwrights to see uh, or theater companies to see. Um, so each theater company will review that actor and say, hey, they were great or they were horrible to work with, um, and the actor will be able to issue a review. Now, the general public will be able to review the play that they've seen, and that's about it. Mm, yeah, good. that's fair. And, and what about the theaters? I mean, if I'm an actor and I'm looking around for a, a theater and... Um you know, uh, and I and I and, and somebody contacts me from, um, you know, a theater in a in a small town of no consequence that's not going to advance my career, and that's going to be hard to get to, and is not going to have a high level of production values. Um, I need to know that too. Are the theaters reviewed? Yes. Are the producers reviewed? If I'm an actor, how much can I find out about the guy who's asking me to come down? That's correct, and that's one of the things that you will be able to see. Um, like I said, actors will leave reviews for the people that they've worked for, and uh, the theater company can leave reviews on the actors that have been in their show. And those things can be seen, again, when you use the IMDb portion of the, of the app. And to me, I think that's critical, um, because oftentimes an actor will get a call from someone saying, hey, I want you to be in such and such play, and and then you get there and you find out the content is not what you believe in or you would like to work with. So you end up wasting time, whereas if you could just looked it up on the computer, you would have seen that that was 
this is the type of show that this guy or this producer generally does. Mm -hmm. And you could have declined it even with, before making the trip. And that's one of the things we're looking to do is, is to match people up who want to actually work together. Yeah, sure. Because it is a commitment by both sides, but uh, oh, the actor yes. could get hurt. And I and I wonder about four flushers. You know, um, sometimes the theaters or producers will, won't pay people, or they'll be slow pay. Uh, sometimes they'll fold in the middle, and um, and the actor will be uh, out of luck. Uh, sometimes the actor will be an actor who drops out in the middle of the performance, God forbid, yes. and disappoints the producer. Um, this yes. kind of uh, what do you want to call it? Employment history or contract history? Is this available? Can I find out negative things that I need to know before I commit to the engagement? Well, that right there will be in the reviews. Um, that kind of information would be in the reviews if, uh, um, and I'm figuring the producers will leave that kind of information if the person dropped out of the show or not. Um, that's what we're, we're expecting them to do. Yeah, good. Okay, fair is fair. Do you cover uh, people other than actors? Do you cover stage managers? Do you, you cover, um, you know, props uh, specialists? Do you, you cover lighting? Do you cover scenery? Uh, or yes. is, it, is it mostly actors? Right. We also want to include the behind-the-scenes staff because they are the ones that also um, make the show. And that's, of course, one of which is a uh, part of our tagline where everyone is a star because without the light, lights and sound, you can't see the actors. Without the costume person doing their job, they won't be wearing the right clothes or the appropriate clothing. So we believe that everyone is a star, not just the lead singer or the lead actor in the, in the production. So we include all of these roles in this production, in, in our app. So if you are a director, and you want to just direct plays, you can register in our app and then people can find you and ask you to come direct their show. And you just put up your, you know, your price and of course your your reel and they can find you. That's pretty good. I mentioned before that I had been associated with the Hawaii Opera Theater for a while. Yes. <laughs> and I'm still <clears throat> interested in opera. But I wonder if you if you include opera singers, <clears throat> I, I expect you will include musical singers for musical theater, but will you include opera singers as well? Well, opera singers can always uh, register. Uh, they just have to put up their their um, picture or their, um, their headshot along with their bio and in explaining their bio that that is exactly what they do. Uh, and that right there would definitely work within our system. Yeah, what about uh, ballet? What about ballet dancers? I, I'm sure there are, there are companies around the country that could use a, a ballet dancer if they have, if, if they oh, have yeah. somebody missing from Any the form cast. of dance would be available in there. Um, any, any form of dance, whether it's modern, jazz, tap, whatever, all those would also be available. Hmm. And what about directors and producers? If I want to direct a show or produce one, should I register? Can I get a job that way? Oh yes, you register as uh, as is uh, on the site. It'll say uh, producers, stage crew. You register in that area, and you'll select yourself as a director lead. Put in your reel, and then you can, of course, put in your price, whatever you're charging to direct. And uh, people can find you that are looking for someone to just direct their show. What about investors, actually, Victor? Suppose I, I'm, I like to be an angel, and I love theater, and I love what you're doing, what theaters are doing around the country. I love this new mm -hmm. wave of, of theatrical activity, uh, and I want to invest some money. Will you place my investment or help me uh, reach out to find somebody who will take it? Actually, that right there is one of the things that I'm adding in the next release because uh, we've interviewed over... Uh, a couple hundred uh, people in this field and from playwrights to theater companies. And that was one thing that kept coming up that they wanted um, help with financing. So in our next module that we're going to release, that would be another area. If you are a person who wants to invest in plays or sponsor a play, uh, there will be a section in there where investors can uh, or sponsors can actually register and say, I, I sponsor these types of plays in this area, 
and this is generally what I offer. Uh, so those will be, that's, that's coming in the next release, and that's primarily because of the interviews that we did with um, theater companies, playwrights, and so forth. Now, I do want to specify that we only work with community or non-union theater because the union theater side is already already has a system in place, but we only work with non-union uh, and community theater. Okay, well, we'll pick up on that right after this break. That's Victor Gulley, uh, Taste of Theater in Chicago. He mm -hmm. joins us by Skype. We are so interested in his project and, uh, and the effect of that on, on the theater industry in the country. We'll be right back after this short break. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Aloha, I'm Carol Mon Lee, Think Tech Hawaii's Volunteer Chief Operating Officer and occasional host, and this is Minky. For the first time, Think Tech Hawaii is participating in an online, web-based fundraising campaign to raise $40,000. Give thanks to Think Tech will run only during the month of November, and you can help. Please donate what you can so Think Tech Hawaii can continue to raise public awareness and promote civic engagement through free programming. I've already made my donation and look forward to yours. Please send in your tax-deductible contribution by going to this website, www.thanksforthinktech.cosvox.com. On behalf of the community enriched by ThinkTech Hawaii's 30-plus weekly shows, thank you, mahalo, and shishe for your generosity. You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, 25 talk shows by 25 dedicated hosts every week, helping us to explore and understand the issues and events in and affecting our state. Great content for Hawaii from Think Tech. Aloha, I'm Tim Apacha, host for Moving Hawaii Forward, a show dedicated to transportation issues and traffic. We identify those areas where we do have problems in the state, but also the show is dedicated to trying to find solutions, not just detail our problems. So join me every other Tuesday on Moving Hawaii Forward. I'm Tim Apicella. Thank you. I'm going to the game and it's going to be great. Early arriving for a little tailgate. I usually drink but won't be drinking today because I'm the designated driver and that's okay. It's nice to be the guy that keeps his friends in line, keeps them from drinking too much so we can have a great time. A little responsibility can go a long way because it's all about having fun on game day. I'm the guy you want to be. I'm the guy saving money. I'm the guy with the H2O and I'm the guy that says let's go. We all play a role in keeping our community safe. Every day, we move in and out of each other's busy lives. It's easy to take for granted all the little moments that make up our every day. Some are good, others not so much. But that's life. It's when something doesn't seem quite right that it's time to pay attention. Because only you know what's not supposed to be in your every day. So protect your every day. If you see something suspicious, say something to local authorities. Okay, we're back. We're live with Victor Gully. He joins us by Skype from Chicago, Illinois, and he's the um, the CEO of A Taste of Theater, which is a website uh, program that allows uh, actors and other stage professionals to get placed on theaters and allows theaters to find them. And uh, this is a whole new thing, except that we, we mentioned uh, before the break, Victor, that the unions had already developed some kind of system along these lines. Can you yes. talk about what that, what that is, how that works? Okay, the way that works is um, whenever a union theater is looking for someone, they go directly to Actors Equity Union, and they get their actors that way. Uh, everything else is then done in-house by the actual theater company, uh, the playbill and so forth. Where uh, So that that's a, a system that has been in place now for probably 50, 60 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, and so that means that kind of cuts you out 
of um, Broadway, doesn't it? Because Broadway is all ac actors equity, is screen actors great. <clears throat> so you're in the in the hinterland in the smaller cities, the smaller theaters, am I right? That's correct, and it's, uh, and oftentimes, as you as you know, there are more community and non-union theaters than there are union theaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and I wanted to uh, I want to get that to that. So one one other thing about uh, you know the nature of the program and the engagement that it's created, um, there there are obviously and you mentioned that there are economic terms here, uh, and the theater wants to the producer wants to offer a certain amount of money to the actor. The actor wants to accept or counter offer. There has to be a deal. How is that made? Is that made online through your website or is it made outside of your website? That part is made outside of the website. The the first part is the initial offer um, that is on the site, which is the theater company says, I'm going to have a show and I'm looking for this particular role. Uh, this is the audition part. Uh, so when they're putting out the audition, they say how much the role is paying. And then the actor can uh, audition and then, of course, negotiate from that point on. Or they can accept the, the terms which is laid out at, uh, in the notice of the audition. Mm -hmm. You know, it strikes me also that um, although, you know, the big uh, Broadway operators are probably not going to do this because they, they have the union arrangement, um, people in Europe and outside the country are probably interested and they'd like to appear in American theater, uh, assuming they can get the necessary immigration papers, I suppose, in some places. Um, but I wonder, do you have traffic like that? Do you have traffic coming from Europe, from Asia, South America? Uh, We've had some traffic from uh, outside of the country, yes. Yeah. yeah, I went to uh, Nigeria in February, and several people from Nigeria have registered for our, our site. Um, and then we've had people from uh, Spain register for our site as well. Oh, that is so cool. So they make deals and come to the United States. But what about the other way around? I mean, suppose somebody's putting on, a, say, a play in uh, Barcelona or Madrid, um, and there are you know, plenty of Spanish speakers in this country who could participate, who would like to participate in a play in Europe uh, or some other kind of performance, uh, you know, performance uh, arrangement in Europe. Um, do, you, do you have situations where uh, you are placing American talent in European theaters? Well, that right there is, uh, is a great question. Um, I've not uh, thought about placing American theater in, in European countries, but what I am hoping is that uh, they will all utilize the, the, the service, and maybe that can help facilitate uh, that conversation at least starting. Okay, so we're showing some uh, some photos of uh, pages on your website, which looks very interesting, um, with the names of the actors and so forth. But we have a video too. Can we play the video now? <clears throat> Malcolm and Bella are actors in Chicago. Quincy owns a 500-seat theater. Rashawn is a self-producing playwright and director. What do they all have in common? They all use a Taste of Theater app. Malcolm and Bella can find the perfect role. Quincy lists available dates to rent. Rashawn can find the talent and the perfect place to have her show. Now, Cinda can use the Taste of Theater app to find any play in the entire country to attend with her friends on Girls' Night Out. A Taste of Theater, the app that makes you the star of the show. That's great, Victor. I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm really uh, I'm touched by that because it reaches down, you know, to to everybody. It's an everybody thing. Yes. And and, and I and wonder if I want to get into theater, if I have virtually no professional experience in theater, but I was in a play. I was in in I was uh, uh, in, in some some character in a play in high school. Um, yes. Is this going to be something I should look at? Um, there's a couple of things you should look at because uh, also on the site, the existing site that we have up is um, opportunities for training. Ah. Ah. Yeah, so if you are a uh, person who wants to train actors on your particular mode of acting or the way acting should be done, once you list that seminar, an email will go out to every actor in the database that you're having this seminar. Uh, 
so that right there is something that I think uh, would be helpful to up and coming actors like the one you just mentioned. If you're brand new into the business and you want to um, enhance your craft, that's one avenue that you can actually utilize. Um, another avenue is um, is is just by the the sheer fact of time, saving time. Because whenever you're uh, starting out, you have to give your headshot to every theater company you're working for so they can put it in their playbill. Sure. Uh, now, once you put it on our site and you get added to that play, your bio plus that headshot gets added automatically and we create the playbill for you. Oh, well, that's great. Save everybody a lot of trouble. Yeah, and, it's, and, the, and, and the people who are watching the plays and download that digital playbill, and there's no paper. Very cool, very cool. So are you making money? Yes, we're, we, we're in beta format, so we're not making any money right now, which is why we're offering it free to everyone, because we have to, um, uh, we have to make our next release first, and then that's the one that we, we will actually uh, make money on. So how you know what do you see for the future? Not not just for you, Victor, but for this industry. Uh, you know I I'm very excited about uh, the Diamond Head Theater that we have here in Honolulu. They've done some wonderful shows and musicals, complex musicals, uh, and I'm I'm encouraged by the fact that their their arc is on the way up. Um, yes. I wonder how the industry is doing in general and how you see you know your product, your website uh, in the next version and thereafter. Uh, you know, engaging with the development of the industry around the country. And I guess I mean the community theaters, the amateur theaters, not Broadway. Yes, I actually see it changing the way people view theater in general. Um, because right now, the way that the, the public finds out about a play is through a card uh, or a postcard or a flyer or they happen to know someone who's in the show. Um, when people come to our platform, not only will they uh, see that, that same card, but they'll also see a preview of the production. They'll know if the venue is handicap accessible or not, because that's a huge issue now, if, if you can even get in to see the show. And, and to me, the, uh, something that's key is a rating, just like movies have a rating as to is this appropriate for kids, is this appropriate for sure. um, co-workers. Every play that comes through our system will have a rating, so you'll know if it contains nudity, if it contains other things uh, that might not be suitable. And you'll know that before you even buy a ticket, because sometimes you can buy a ticket to a production and then there's just things that are totally inappropriate for your mother who's sitting right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to send me a newsletter? If I'm signed up as a, as a you know, uh, an audience member, somebody who's interested in, in attending theater, are you yes. going to send me a newsletter, tell me what's going on in my community, or other places I may designate, so that I can, mm -hmm. I can see what's going on, I can see the plays, I can even travel to other cities for the plays. Are you going to reach out to me? Actually, um, eventually that is coming because once you um, download the app, the app is free for people to find plays. And then what you have to do is add your name to our email list um, and then what types of plays you would like to see and in what cities. And then you'll get that information. This is great. This is great, Victor. It sounds terrific. It sounds like it's, it'll go hand in glove with the development of the industry and hopefully development of a greater appreciation for the performing arts in our country and outside. Thank you so much yes. for appearing on our show and telling us about your product. Let me say we wish you well in every way and, and uh, I hope we can do this again when, you, when your next version comes out and we can discuss uh, uh, you know, your progress at that time. Oh, thank you. And the next uh, the next version will include professional playwrights in it. So, um, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. Victor Valley, a taste of theater. And guess what? It tastes good. Thank you, Victor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> uh.